didn't quite get what you wanted for Christmas, and you ladies, you deserve to spoil yourselves. We're going to find out today's box can help you out with that. Let's get to it. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. So yeah, I mean, you ladies, you always deserve to be spoiled rotten. Thank you. Maybe of you didn't get you. what you wanted for Christmas. Did you get what you wanted for Christmas? <laughs> yes, I did. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, he, he did great. Score. <laughs> so you just get bonus now. Exactly. But maybe you didn't quite get what you wanted for Christmas, and maybe this is the box that could potentially help you out with that. They got some yes. pretty nice stuff in there. Yes, they do. The Women's Collective. This is their winter box. Yes, they are a quarterly subscription. So this is their winter subscription. Okay. How much are they? They are annually. No, quarterly. 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 They are $54.95. Okay. A little pricey, but... It is... I love the message behind this run box. Run by women for women. Yes. Empowering all you amazing women out there. Yes, they are. And they even, they even give back for that as well. So, um, they always have a different person. You got your sticker to go yes. on your water bottle. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I like this one. It's like a little postcard. Celebrate so, women every day. So, winter 2020. A little bit about us. So the featured artist, what they're saying here is, this is Talisa Almonte. She designed this box right here. Yes. Uh, quick little thing on Talisa. I'm not going to read the whole thing, but we'll get to a little bit of it. Talisa Almonte is an Afro-Latina artist and illustrator from Dominican Republic. She grew up in Miami, Florida until moving to New York City for college. She currently resides in Queens and creates custom arts and illustrations for people and brands alike who want to gift, share, and create unique, color, unique, colorful experience with their clients. She believes that as an artist, it's important to not only create as a form or release, but also to use the gift she's been given to create messages of positivity and stand up visually for the things that she's most passionate about. That's We've got a little amazing. bit more about her, but yeah, yes. that's really cool. So they always have a different artist. Very talented. They always have very talented people with yeah. them. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Talisa, great job. Awesome. My mom is from Queens, from Queens so. There you go. All right, we got a little summary of everything in there. Okay. You go for it. All right, let's get this open. Where are you going first? What are you going to Might grab? as well get this one. This one's on top. Okay. So let's see what this is. Looks like a necklace or something. Possibly. Here's the pouch. There it is. There. That necklace is from Grace and Flux. It's a golden X necklace. It is valued at $50. So right there, you almost have the value of the box. Yes. In your very first thing. Enjoy this petite 24 karat gold dipped X necklace. This little X is the perfect bit of shine for your everyday. Layer this with your favorite jewelry pieces or wear it on its own. So a little thing about the designer Grace and Flux. Designer and maker Grace Gerfin is everything behind her Grace and Flux jewelry line. She has always had a deep love for all things design. Starting at a young age, she began working with beads and wire and throughout her life, arts were always the focus. Spending her college years in painting and photography classes, she ended up graduating with a degree in metal metalsmithing. Sorry, I was like, what? I almost said mental. <laughs> metalsmithing from the University of Oregon. Metals had become her true passion and got her nominated for an internship in London for fashion designer Alexander McQueen. The fashion house and time spent in London served as a great inspiration for Inspiration for Grace, expanding her love for design and furthered her skills as a maker. I like this. It's something that's simplistic that I will wear daily. As you can tell, I'm already wearing something that's an O. <laughs> now you got an X. <laughs> exactly. So I nice. like that one. That one is definitely something I will use and wear. All right. How about we do that yellow bag right there? Okay. I saw that one. So that um, is... Lou plus L portfolio, Portfino pouch, not portfolio, Portfino, Portfino. Or Portofino, Portofino, Portofino pouch. So that is valued at $34. The classic pouch is effortlessly chic and uniquely playful. It's perfect to use as a catch-all, travel bag, or simply a clutch for an evening out. 
This bag makes for a great companion to the modern lifestyle. Each one is globally inspired and mindfully made, making them a perfect gift for yourself or someone else. I really like this and I am obsessed with bags. Um, most of my bag has bags in it. <laughs> like literally each bag has its own little theme and I'm like, oh, okay, well, I need this one. And we got to, okay, all of my chapsticks and lip stuff are in this one. And then of course I got the women and pro uh, feminine products and another. And so, you know, I just love bags. So a little bit about Lou Plus L, founder and creative director of the handbag line Lou Plus L, Kendall Zundel is inspired by world traveling and experiencing different cultures. While pursuing the night markets in Thailand, she realized she could bring together her love of collecting beautiful vintage fabrics and traveling the world to give back and build community. So one Saturday morning, using her education as a clothing designer, she made a simple pattern of the makeup pouch and watched a YouTube video on how to sew on a zipper. After making a handful of samples, she took them down to the local boutique where they bought them all up. Awesome! Cool. YouTube! Yes. <laughs> I couldn't find any in any of the video schools. Alexa wants to know. <laughs> Alexa, stop. Thanks, Alexa. All right. She's got to put her, put her two cents in there, too. Oh, my God. I love the power of what YouTube's become, though. Seriously, it is. What Very was it just the other day that I was laughing about? Like, well, if I can't figure it out, I'll just YouTube it. Yes. Oh, um, uh, the Traeger Grill. We just yes. bought a Traeger Grill. And she was like, you can ask the guy in there. And I was like. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, well, YouTube it. <laughs> I'll YouTube it. I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right. What do you want to go to next? I want this. All right. Oh, I turned right to it. Right to it. Okay. It was meant to be. Polished prints. It's an empowered women tote. Uh, so Empower Women Large Tote Bag retail value is $20. Inspired by the women who build us up, the Empowered Women Empower the World Large Tote Bag is designed to celebrate the village that surrounds us. Screen printed by hand using eco-friendly water-based ink, this bag is 100% cotton and has a zipper closure. Perfect yes. for the grocery store, the farmer's market, or really any day-to-day -day activity and you find yourself And it's a zipper apart. on the inside too. So that I like as well. So nice. yes, actually this would be perfect for the farmer's market. Can't wait. I love the farmer's market. So a little bit about uh, polished prints. When polished prints started in 2018, it was more or less a hobby for founder Lee Longville. Okay. Lo Longville? Longville? I'm sorry, Lee. I'm sure <laughs> I'm saying your last name wrong. As a new mom with a personal love for graphic tees. Hey, I like this lady. Yes. Lee struggled to find apparel for her baby daughter that really aligned with her mindset, so she took it upon herself to create her own. It all started in her guest bedroom, hand printing onesies one by one and sharing them on social media. The brand focused on positive messages that reflect Lee's values, bringing to life the meaningful apparel that she felt was missing in the world of children's clothing. It didn't take long for her to see how messages like be the good and love thy neighbor resonated, resonated with so many others in the same way they did with her. So she decided to open up an Etsy shop so others could spread the love too. Before she knew it, she launched her own website and her tiny hobby evolved into one of its own little businesses. That's awesome. That is amazing. Very cool. That, that's yeah. what's so cool about this box is seeing- It encourages women. Like, like the bag says, empowered women, empowering women. Like, like this story about the woman just going in the guest bedroom, you could do this. Yes. You right there watching this video. You got an idea? Put it forward. Work on it. The yes. other lady looking on YouTube, just how to sew a, zip, sew a zipper on something. Like, yes. You can do it. You can, you'd be amazed where you 2021 is about to start. <laughs> well, depending on when this video. This video may be already 2021. Woohoo! <laughs> we'll see when the video gets posted. Probably 2021. <laughs> Hey, you made it. <laughs> do something. Do something. You can do it. You can yes. do it. All right. Uh, how about that right there? Yes. That is Concrete Days Tulip Vessel. It is valued at $22. Okay. This piece okay. is the perfect concrete vessel for burning Palo Santo or sage sticks and displaying small plants. Or it adds magical whimsy to a tea lights arrangement. Whatever your hope and vision, this vessel will help you tie it all together. 
What's even better, the forest green color was created exclusively for the women's collective box. I really like this. Ooh, that's It'll nice, probably actually. be something I would have at work. On my new desk. So let's hear about concrete days. Iowa native Allie Reed has always had a passion for the beauty found in simplicity. Her background in graphic design and fine arts created a hunger for new, challenging creative outlets. A few years ago, she discovered a love of concrete and its indescribable versatility. While strength and durability are its leading attributes, concrete has an allure that lasts through generations, and so Concrete Days was born. Through Concrete Days, Allie brings a fresh, modern style to home decor. Each concrete piece is handmade through a tested process to create a truly unique keepsake. She pulls inspiration from everyday life, travel, and experiences and imbues them Imbues those characteristics into each vessel, making them strong and bold, yet simple and elegant. I like that. Nice. Definitely something I will put at my desk because I think I can put a plant in that. I would like to put a plant in that. I think okay. I saw, I don't know if all three of those go together, but I saw I something, yeah, there. Okay. So it's those two right there. Lip balm and, and scrub. scrub. Okay. From Becalia, 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 Becalia Botanicals. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Um, but we have no prices on this one. But you have a Rebe Hibiscus Mint and Agave Lip Balm. Rebe, inspire. I'm sorry if I'm saying that. It might be Rebe, but I'm going to say Rebe. Inspired by one of my first cousins and named after, oh, it's a name, after her because it reminded me of her character when we were growing up together. Rebe, short for Rebecca. Rebbe? Maybe it's Rebbe. Rebbe? If it's Rebecca, Rebbe. Named after our grandmother is Tamara's younger sister, C.R. Tamara Lip Scrub. That's what's coming up next. Yep. Rebbe was always so sweet, even when we'd pick on her as kids. I'm not nailing the reading of this because these <laughs> names, I keep messing Rebe? up. Rebe's youthful and adventurous personality brings happiness to those around her. That's the lip balm. Okay, I so like now you have the Tamara Brown Sugar and Coconut Lip <laughs> Scrub. Tamara was also inspired and named after one of my first cousins. So I like to smell that one. I know. Tamara was rough around the edges. It's the brown sugar. Rebellious, adventurous, and outgoing. When you least expected it, Tamara would show you her softer side, just like our lip scrub. All right, so uh, let's read about... Bacalia Botanicals, mm -hmm. inspired by heritage, cultivated with love, and fueled by passion. Bacalia Botanicals. I got lipstick on, so I can't put it on. It's Thank fine. you. Merges beauty and culture, drawing inspiration from our founders' ancestral heritage and personal experiences of first-generation Mexican-American. Intentionally creating products to keep memories of Mexico, tradition, and legacy alive. That's cool. Yeah. Founder Jasmine Guerrero was born in L.A. and for most of her childhood raised around her immediate family, Jasmine knew nothing more than her family's heritage and traditions until later in life when she moved across the country to Atlanta. As Jasmine grew into adulthood, she began feeling detached from her Mexican heritage. She set out on a mission to create a skincare brand that incorporated and honored her Mexican roots. Cool. That is cool. And then the ingredients that she uses is whole ingredients that is stuff that you can pronounce and stuff that you know immediately if you would be allergic to it. And everything is looks like it plant based all natural and she even uses essential oil so you wouldn't have too much of a reaction with your skin. This is this is a good one. And I can feel the peppermint oil actually on my, my lips. It's a cooling sensation. When it hits and your I, lips. <laughs> I barely put anything on. You probably feel it pretty yeah, good. I feel it. I love this. Cool. Yes. Very cool. All right, so candle. Okay, candle. Okay. And we can get rid of the box, right? Yes. Are you sure? I'll take that. So that is Bisbee Candles, a warm plus cozy candle that is valued at $16. Okay. Made exclusively for the Women's Collective Box, this candle has notes of warm vanilla sugar and chai. It's the perfect candle to light while relaxing inside this winter. Mm, yep. Yeah. And made in Oklahoma City. Mm. It smells like toasted vanilla. So a little bit about Bisbee Candles. Queen Dolly Parton once said, you never do a whole lot unless you're brave enough to try. 
For Bisbee Candles owner Amy Best, these words ring especially true. As a child growing up in foster care and state-run shelters, Amy dreamed of one day becoming more than just a statistic and becoming a role model for girls like her with courage and creativity. Amy navigated her path marked with challenges, grief, and heartbreak to grow into the business owner she is today. Inspired by her mentors, Amy believes in the power of women supporting other women. Her passion drives her to empower women to embrace their ambition, buck tradition, and take the reins as a leader. That's awesome. Yes. Good for her to come from all that, and that's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, this smells good. It's a little The products are amazing. Posted. The stories are even better, though. They always yes. come out of this box. Yes, they are. I love that they have... stories. And really that's cool. just part of the stories that they share. Like, they, they have more And I'm not stories. even reading the whole thing, too. I'm no, just kind of... No, that's just a little bit of what they're sharing, and... Uh, the fact that they're putting so much behind them and supporting these women and then getting their products out there so that gets them even more business. It, this is definitely one of the best boxes out there, especially for women by women. Really awesome. Yes. Really cool. Uh, their presentation too is on point. It is. And they give Between back getting to, an artist to do they the give box back to and, the women on this one. So yeah. they even have it on their Instagram where they tell you that they give their they give a percentage back to women to encourage them to support them. Really cool. Totally worth the money. Yes. Check it out. Of course we'll have the description down in this video's description. Be sure to check them out. All right, what did you think of uh, the amazing inspirational stories we heard today and all these awesome products here? Let us know down in the comments. Right over here is our last unboxing of the Women's Collective Box from Fall. Fall. Uh, and on this side, you got our most recent episode, but we never told them to subscribe. Oh. Yeah. You were supposed to say like and share and stuff. Oh. <laughs> so if you want to subscribe, Sorry, you can click here, over there, over there. Over there. You guys know the deal. We're good. See you next time. <laughs>